on, fellow junkies. Horror Junkies 519. Kyle 13th coming at you again today, you guys. And I'm hoping you guys are all having a great day out there because I know I am. Because I get to come and do a video for you guys. Hopefully you guys went ahead and checked out my last short. Uh, it was, I made that right before I went to go see Scream 6. So I might talk a little bit about Scream 6 at the end. So if you want to stay tuned uh, till after this video... I'm going to talk a little bit about it, nothing too, nothing spoilery or anything like that, but you know, just kind of my, my thoughts, just a little bit. So, what am I doing today? Man, you guys already see, I'm rocking my coverall, so you know it's Halloween related, you guys, and I can't wait to get into this because uh, I love reviewing masks, and I'm going to review a mask, you guys, so that's what we're going to be doing. Uh, so, uh, it is a Trick or Treat Studios mask, and I always like to give the disclaimer, I do not work for D Trick or Treat Studios, so I get to go ahead and call them on their bullshit. But I, I also get to praise them on everything they do so good because they've only gotten better and I just absolutely love reviewing Trick or Treat Studios products. So let's go ahead and get right into this, you guys. What am I going to be reviewing today? You're like, Kyle, you've reviewed so many of these masks. What more can you do? They keep making more. So what am I supposed to do? I'm going to I'm gonna keep reviewing these masks as they keep releasing them. So I am actually doing the Halloween 4, the poster mask. And so, basically what this is, is, like, it's a release, so you don't see this in the movie of Halloween 4 in any way, shape, or form, as, as far as I know, uh, this is strictly for the poster, uh, so this is the cover of Halloween 4, and so they're trying to give you a representation of this mask, so, uh, there's a little bit of a comparison, basically they're trying to give us another H1, another version of an H1 mask, in my personal opinion, is kind of what they're doing, because... That is not what the mask looks like in Halloween 4 in any way, shape, or form. Like, you look at that, and uh, it, it kind of is a little misleading because uh, I have the Halloween 4 mask here. And you look at that on the cover, and then this is what we get. I mean, I don't hate the Halloween 4 mask, but definitely after seeing the poster and seeing the original mask, and then you kind of get this, you're like, what the hell happened? So there's kind of a little bit of flub. And so, you know, they're, they're trying to release... The Halloween 4 poster mask, like, you know, that that's the mask we kind of wanted to see, um, you know, but there still is love for the Halloween 4 mask, uh, as it is, and I, I'm one of them, I do enjoy it, uh, regardless, but that's not the mask we're going over, of course, I got some masks that we'll kind of go over and, uh, kind of compare, uh, but yeah, it's what we're going to be doing, so let's go ahead and get right into it, so let me get a little bit closer so you guys can go ahead and kind of get into a lot of this detail, um, it's got a lot of good detail. It's missing some detail a little bit. Like I wish it could have been a little bit more, uh, and, uh, maybe, uh, fired up as far as different details. Uh, but let's go ahead and get right into it. So we do also have the po the poster picture here. So that is the mask they're trying to shoot for, uh, with this release. Uh, so it is a trick or treat studios right there on the tag. It does say poster mask, right? Yeah. Poster mask. So I don't know if that's going to come across, but trick or treat studios, uh, if you ever need to learn how to take care of a, a latex mask, they got it right in there for you. And this is sculpted by Justin Mabry, so you definitely know love and care went into this uh, sculpting. So let's go ahead and check it out. Uh, one thing I do want to kind of show, I do believe this mask is a uh, an upgraded version of the Halloween 2 Hospital mask that they've released previously. Uh, I mean, it, they're not exactly exactly, but you know, I think... This mask definitely is quite a big upgrade from this, but I think the mold is kind of similar. Uh, the paint, I mean, is quite quite a bit different. The hair is quite a bit different, uh, but I think for the most part, this definitely these are definitely similar masks. Uh, this one's actually bigger than this one as well, uh, but I definitely think this is an updated version of the hospital mask, which I'm very happy with because I wasn't very happy with my hospital mask. Uh, if you guys are wondering about a review for the hospital mask and the H4, I've definitely done those reviews, so check them out. I will see if I can link them in my description just to make it easier for you if you want to check them out. Uh, but since we're here for the uh, Halloween 4 poster mask, let's go ahead and get into this, you guys. So go ahead and pick out some details. We do have... Is this the right side? No, it's not. Uh, so we do have the glue marks. You know, they're here for you where they ripped out the uh, sideburns, so they are there for you guys. Uh, we do have the glue marks for the eyebrows still there. We do have a pretty good brow line here, uh, like it is on a lot of Michael Myers masks. Uh, we got the cheekbones that are there. We got some coloration on the lips to kind of give them definition, which I really do. Like, I do love that they did the, the black outline around the eyes because 
It's one of my favorite details in these newer masks, and when it doesn't have it, it's definitely no noticed and it's definitely missed by me. I don't know how you guys feel about it. Uh, so we do have the other glue line here, obviously the eyebrow. Uh, we do have a sort of like a pinhole indent right here. No blood or anything like that. It doesn't go all the, through, all the way through, but we do have the indent here. Uh, we do have the little bit of skin tone under the chin here. Uh, kind of a little bit of a trademark that these masks are kind of uh, getting. Um, I mean, quite a few of them have it now, but... Honestly, I think they've really captured a really good look of this mask. And I really think it's going to kind of pop out a little bit more once I actually put it on. Because it's just on my paper rolls. Uh, but honestly, I think the sculpt looks really good. I think the paint could be a little bit more desired. Like, I kind of wish the lips uh, had a little more detailing to them. Uh, like, on the camera, it's picking up a lot more than it is in real life. Like, in real life, I almost feel like... Uh, like with the mask at hand, I guess I should say real life. Jeez. Uh, I feel like they're really light here, but on the camera, it's picking it up perfectly. So if I, if I could make it look like that in, in hand, I definitely kind of would. Um, hair, I feel like the hair is getting better. Uh, they don't have that new hairline, uh, from the Halloween ends mask because still Halloween ends, probably one of the best masks, trick or treat studios, Michael Myers masks, trick or treat studios has released to this day. Uh, if you haven't seen the trick or treat studios, uh, uh, Halloween ends mask definitely check it out you guys such a fire mask but you know this is still before that mask came out this came out before that uh, so definitely hoping to get that hairline on more of the masks as we release more uh, but honestly I as far as the sculpting goes the paint up goes uh, the hair I really think we have a, a an awesome mask here I'm super happy to have this and being that it's, it is an upgrade from the Halloween uh, the trigger Halloween 2 hospital mask. I can't be more happier to have this, you guys. So let's go ahead and put this bad boy on and see it in action. Because this is what we do around here. Yes, my favorite part of the video is when I get to put these bad boys on. And the fit, let's just check her out. All right, guys. So here comes... Uh, the Chubby Cheek Michael Myers, you guys, I always like to just throw it out there just to, it's a precaution. It's like a spoiler alert, but, you know, different. Just a little bit. Here we go. Halloween 4, Michael Myers, the poster. So, not from the movie at all. <laughs> I think that looks absolutely awesome. <laughs> I dig that a lot. <laughs> All right, you guys. So just some final thoughts. Final thoughts? Final thoughts on this mask. I think this thing looks amazing. Definitely way better right, right here or on my head than it does on the paper towels. But definitely this mask sculpted so great. I, it has that look. It has the profile of Michael Myers, an original Michael Myers mask. I mean, that mask in the original movie looks so different from shot to shot, just depending on the lighting, the setting, and stuff like that. So it's so nice to have a bunch of different representations because I really don't feel like you're ever going to capture that one look for that from one mask. I really think you kind of need multiples. I don't know how they did it back in the day. You know, I'm probably talking crazy, uh, but honestly, I'm okay with it. I... I talk crazy all the time, uh, but I highly recommend this mask, you guys. If you are looking for another H1, uh, kind of something similar, or you just kind of want to collect the whole collection, this is kind of a side mask, maybe not necessary since it's from part four, but not in part four. It's really up to you, but I can't recommend it enough. I mean, I show it off because I want you guys uh, to see everything this mask has to offer. The paint up, 
the details, the sculpting, the profile, the hair. My hair is a little bit flat, but I mean, you guys, I don't think you can deny what you're looking at right here. Definitely an awesome look in Michael Myers mask. Uh, so definitely buy it. Well worth it. My chain's trying to fall off. How unacceptable. Ah, I'm so unprofessional. Uh, but I did kind of want to go ahead and kind of compare it with uh, the Boogeyman mask, which is my the one I always like, uh, my, my H1 mask that I always kind of show off. So, I mean, definitely it's got its differences. But, I mean, of course, this one's on. Let me see if I can get it off the paper towels. See if I can make it look a little better for you. And I also have a review for this Boogeyman mask up on my channel. So if you guys are curious about seeing any more of these masks that I have shown off today, I have a review for every single one of them. So always check them out. I do have a lot of uh, great content on these masks if you're curious. Uh, so that's kind of almost like brothers a little bit because this is really what uh, they're trying to go for is a new, newer uh, H1. I don't know if there's anything else to say, you guys. Uh, you, what what's wrong with having more than one <laughs> all right you guys so what am i going to go ahead and rate uh this uh halloween for uh the poster mask honestly i don't really have a complaint about this thing i love the paint up the i think all the details that are necessary are definitely there i mean the hair can always be better i mean if i really really get crazy about it i can style it and do it myself uh but i'm going to go ahead and give this a solid I'm going to go ahead and give this an 8 out of 10 because I absolutely do love this mask. It looks great. I don't really have much of a complaint about it. I mean, it's just really this awkward the way they're going about it with the Halloween 4 poster mask. Uh, but you know what? I don't, I'm don't. i not going to have a problem with it. I'm not going to bash them for it. I think this is awesome, and I'm more than happy to actually have this thing. Uh, so 8 out of 10 for me is a solid uh, score for this guy. And uh, I'm going to have him in my collection with pride, and I hope you guys will enjoyed this review. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Help me make this channel as big as I want it to be. Uh, I get a lot of comments, you guys. That you guys enjoy my content. Help me grow this channel because I would love to see this get even bigger. I would love my reviews to get to everybody. I want to help as many people as I can to get the right mask, you guys. Uh, that's really why I started this channel. Uh, of course, I like to do other different types of content, but it's all about horror. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and give this mask a solid... Was it even a question? I, I didn't think so. Uh, but just to talk about Scream 6 real quick, just a small little blurb, you guys. I honestly, personally, at this point, liked Scream 6 better than Scream 5. Um, and that's without me seeing watching Scream 5 again. I honestly think after watching Scream 6, I'm going to like Scream 5 just a little bit better. Uh, because just seeing these the characters from 5 grow a little more. And like, you know, come, they're starting to come in their own a little bit. Uh, but Ghostface was pretty brutal. I mean, obviously still pretty simple kills because it's pretty much just with a knife. Uh, but honestly, it was great. I enjoyed it. I had a great, absolute great time with it. Um... But I really am going to go watch part five again. And I'm thinking about doing a Scream ranking video here soon. And I will probably talk more about Scream 6 then. So, hope you guys enjoyed this mask review. Uh, Horror Junkies 509, Kyle 13 signing out just until next time. You guys already know it. I've been sentenced to life. I am a horror lifer. And you guys, have a killer day. I appreciate you guys stopping by always. Definitely go ahead and check out the Trick or Treat Studios Rocky Mask video, you guys. Uh, it's what a great mask. And uh, my little skit at the beginning, I think, was the funnest thing I've done in a long time. Stay bloody, my friends.